Hi guys, I'm Carly Kloss and I'm gonna show you how I do my look for a night out. I always start with a power foil mask. I do this anywhere, anytime. I'll do it backstage at a runway show. I look like Iron Woman right now. I leave this on for about 10 minutes and you know, you can multitask. Okay, 10 minutes. And then you can take your power foil mask off. Ta-da! The best part is that there's extra serum of the Advanced Night Repair Serum in the bag that I always take. And this is where you can really use your hands. You always wanna go up and you always wanna go out. And don't forget your neck, that's another thing. I get everyone into my skincare routines. My husband, my friends. <sighs> I think there's such a connection between kind of feeling good in your skin and the confidence that you exude. Getting a good night's sleep, really pampering myself with my skincare routine, or being really mindful about what I eat help me with keeping my skin in tip top shape. This is another little tip I've picked up along the way. This is uh, a rose quartz one. And it's the same thing. You can kind of follow the same line of your face, of your jaw. It's all about bringing circulation to the skin, stimulating the muscles. After your serum is soaked in, you can add some cream. Before we start makeup, I like to do a little lip balm setting spray. Kind of help create a nice canvas for the makeup. Lashes. So we've got a couple of little tools here. An eyelash curler gets the job done, but I've had nightmare situations. This teaspoon is very functional. It's in my bag at all times uh, for whatever the needs are. And one tip and use of a teaspoon that I learned backstage from Pat McGrath at a fashion show way back when was to use a teaspoon to really get a very tight kind of curl on the lash and you can really get right onto the, the lid and pinch it. This is my eyelash trick. <laughs> or you can go all high tech and uh, use one of these suckers. It's a heated eyelash curler. It molds the lashes into the shape that you want without any risk of pulling your lashes out. So hello, what's not to love about that? I'm gonna use some double wear foundation. This is so good because it's buildable. It's got a nice foundation brush. I love the double wear because it's really light and depending on how thick you want the coverage to be, you can kind of keep adding. I really like using the sculpted foundation brush because it actually is kind of follows the lines of your face. Personally, I really like a, an effortless look so that it almost looks like that I'm not wearing makeup and that I just woke up with perfect skin. I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer on the spots that need a little extra love. You don't need a lot. And you can kind of paint into that really tight crevice. It looks like I slept 12 hours. I can tell you, I didn't sleep 12 hours. Maybe this whole week combined, I've slept 12 hours. Another trick is to use your ring finger in that fragile skin under your eye, and you can just tap. Dampen your sponge before applying your Double Wear Matte Powder. It just locks everything in place. Done. So now on to blush. Follow my cheeks. Do my makeup face. So if you did add too much blush, you can just use your foundation brush and kind of blend it. For me, brows are really important. I find it to be a really defining feature on my face, and so I like to use the multitasker to just kind of perfect the shape and brush them and kind of get them perfectly on point. What I do to maintain my brows is don't touch them. I remember one season, bleached eyebrows were all the rage. I would go to a runway show, they would bleach my brows, and then they would dye them back, and then I would go to another runway show and they would bleach them again. So I was, at one point, just gave up and lived with bleached eyebrows. And um, I remember going back home to my high school, because I was still in high school at the time, and feeling like an alien. <laughs> Embrace your shape, 
it took me a while to really embrace my very arched eyebrows and now I find they're like one of my favorite features. So since I am going out tonight and I want my makeup to stay in place, I'm gonna just set it with a clear brow gel, brush it up and out towards your ear to just set the hairs in place. Brows are on fleek, skin is great. Now it's time for just a little definition on the lash line. I'm gonna use the ultra fine side of the liquid liner and I like to just get right on the lash line. Okay, now if you mess up like that, you can take a cotton bud and just... The best thing is to just kind of like be confident and decisive with the shape and long kind of fluid strokes. And then if you mess up, you get in with a cotton bud and you perfect the line. Voila. I like to use lip liner to just kind of perfect the shape. And last but not least, this beauty. She's the Estee Lauder Rebellious Rose. And let me tell you, she is not a wallflower. This color looks good on everyone. My sisters, my friends, everyone that's tried this color loves it. And for a good reason. You wanna try? 